mental money blocks. Hi guys, my name is Lena Semenek and this is my YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness. If you're new to my channel, welcome and please consider subscribing. On this channel I share videos about money, self-esteem, relationships, self-confidence, I talk about healthy boundaries and I help my viewers to become happier, healthier and more successful in life. Today is a Q&A video and we're gonna talk about psychological money blocks. We will talk about things that do not allow us to become financially successful in life and earn more money. When it comes to money, we all have lots of rules, taboos and limiting beliefs. For simplicity, let's call all of them mental money blocks. Negative family stories about money, uh, fears and social expectations, all these things fall into this category as well. All of these things are mental money blocks. So let's uh, name four common money blocks. Let's talk about them and hopefully you can identify some of them in your life and start working on eliminating them. Let's start. The first money block is called responsibility. The more money you make, the more responsibility falls on your shoulders. Little money brings little responsibility. If you don't have money, you don't need to worry about what to do with the money. You don't need to think about investing them. You don't need to worry about stock market. If you don't have money, you can't afford to buy a big house. You don't need to maintain the house. You just rent a small place and let, let your landlord to take care of all the problems of the roof, of the plumbing, you know, all the repairs. If you don't have money, you cannot buy expensive car. You don't have to purchase an insurance and you don't need to worry what if somebody will scratch your expensive car. You don't need to worry about maintaining it. So if you make a lot of money, then the question how to spend it wisely comes to your mind all the time. Should I send kids to private school? Will it really benefit my kids? Should I invest in a real estate or should I open a new business? How can I uh, multiply my money? How can I save my money? If you don't have money, you don't have these questions in your mind. You don't have to deal with all the problems that rich people have. It looks like people who don't have money uh, have a hard life. But in reality, there are millions of people who enjoy their life even if they don't have big money. So to make it simple, our brain does not want to take the responsibility that come with money. So that's why uh, when it comes to promotion, we miss it. When it comes to opportunity, we ignore it. When it comes to presenting ourselves or talking about the product, we make mistakes. So this is how our brain tricks us. Let's talk about the second uh, common reason or second money block, which is called risk. If you don't have money, there is no way you can lose money. You've probably heard stories about people who invest a lot of money and don't lose them, right? So rich people really worry and really care about their money. Uh, they used to specific high quality lifestyle and they don't want to lose it. So they, if they lose money, they lose their position. They lose their social status, they lose their comfort level. So if you don't have money, you don't need to worry about it. You don't need to uh, uh, hire a financial advisor. You don't need a broker. You don't need to spend hours thinking of how to invest your money. There is always a risk that if you have money, you can lose them. And the only way to minimize risk or to eliminate risk is to not make a lot of money. Let's talk about mental block number three, which is fear of becoming a bad person. This is a very, very common fear and many people don't even realize that they have it. So deep inside, you might have a belief that rich people are greedy, selfish, cold, and maybe even ruthless and disrespectful. You might have a belief that if you're gonna make a lot of money, 
then you have to violate some moral or social values. There is a social belief that rich people are cold and ruthless. And many TV shows, for example, uh, the TV show Sharks, show uh, wealthy people who are emotionally unbreakable. And it's very hard to talk to them. They criticize you, they judge you, and they put you down. If this belief applies to you, that uh, rich people are selfish, greedy, ruthless, cold, uh, disrespectful, then subconsciously you are sabotaging every opportunity that comes to you. You hesitate uh, to speak up for yourself when you need to promote yourself. You don't ask for extra pay, but you do work extra hours because you are a good person and um, not everything should be done for the money right uh, let's do a simple test right now uh, this test will show you if this mental block applies to you or not so just name three people who are rich greedy and selfish and now name three people who are rich and kind if it was easier for you to name rich kind people then you don't have this mental block if you struggled with naming rich and kind people, but it was easy for you to name rich and selfish or rich and greedy people, then please review this mental block number three one more time and work on your limiting beliefs. Let's move on to the fourth mental block uh, about money, which is called family stories and parental messages. So think about your parents, think about your grandparents, uh, uncles, aunts, and think, and even better write, actually write in the comments below this video what your family members say about money. What does your mom say about money? What does your dad say about money? Uh, how about your grandparents? Just write in the comments, stop the video and write in the comments below. It's going to be a very good test for you. Uh, not even for me. It's going to be really helpful for you to kind of find these things that stopping you from becoming rich. Uh, for example, from my childhood, I remember hearing the phrase, this is very expensive. I don't remember uh, what my mom or grandma referred to, but I know that this phrase, this is very expensive, was one of the common phrases in my childhood. So from my childhood, I've learned two things. Number one, we cannot afford expensive things, which later transformed into, I can't afford the expensive things. And number two, I don't need to buy expensive things. It's not worth it. So the first statement, we cannot afford expensive things, caused me to form a limiting belief in my head that no matter how hard I try, no matter what I do, there is no way I can make a lot of money. We cannot, in our family, we cannot afford expensive things. So no matter what I do, I cannot afford expensive things. No matter what I do, I cannot make a lot of money. This is how our brain works. And the second statement, I don't need to buy expensive things because it's not worth it. My brain reads as, I don't need to earn big money because I don't need to buy expensive things. I just need to make a little money so I can cover my everyday expenses and maybe a little bit more. Please let me know in the comments if you have similar beliefs about money. If your beliefs are different, please share them as well. Just by writing in the comments, you will help yourself to acknowledge your limiting beliefs. And you will help, help others as well, because just by reading other people's beliefs, you can discover your own. Something will click inside of you. So there were four mental common money blocks. Of course, there are more than four. And if you want me to continue talking on this topic, please let me know in the comments. I can talk in details about money, about limiting beliefs. Uh, we can talk more about negative family stories, parental messages. I can, you know, bring more examples to make it uh, easier and, and better to understand. 
We can talk about money taboos, which is a huge topic, social money taboos. Uh, of course, when it comes to money, there are fears such as uh, a fear of success, a fear of failure, a fear of unknown future. So let me know in the top, in the comments, uh, if you like this topic and uh, what would you like to know more. I will be more than happy to answer your questions and create more videos for you. Uh, and if you're wondering what to do, how to work on your money blocks, then consider signing up to my private session, joining my group sessions and check out my online course, Program Yourself for Success. If this video was helpful, please click like and share it with your friends on social media. Every time when you share, when you write your comment, when you give me a like, it really makes me feel good. So thank you for motivating me to create this channel and to share my videos with you. Thank you for watching. Bye.